filters can be really frustrating and a little difficult to understand when you're starting out with Integromat. In this video, I'm going to show you some basics on filtering and how to filter three different types of data. So how should you use filters to filter out the data you want? Well, it's important to remember that the result of a filter, when it's true, the data will pass your filter. If it's false, it will not pass your filter or not continue to the rest of your scenario. So you need to create filters that look for things that are true for the data that you want to pass on. So for example, let's say we have a name uh, in our data and we want to filter name equals Andy. Well, that means the data with the name equal to Andy will only pass and all other names will not pass your filter and continue down your scenario. So another example here, let's say we're filtering, we're looking for names that contain the capital A. And so in case is sensitive uh, in your filters, in this case, we're looking for only names that contain the capital A. So there's examples, Aaron, Andy, Alfred, Alex, Abigail, those all have capital A's in the name at the beginning in this case. And those will pass a filter where you're set, where you're looking for name contains A. Now, in text filtering, you can do case sensitive or case insensitive. Case insensitive means I don't care what if it's uppercase or lowercase, I want to look for any letters that match. So in this case, if we're looking for name contains A and we have case insensitive selected, uh, any names that have an A. So Abigail has an, an A at the beginning, that would go through your filter. Craig, Dave, Dale, Newman, those all have A's, lowercase A's in the middle of the name, those would also go through your filter. So anything that is true, if your filter says, I want this, and if it's true, it will pass your filter. Okay, so I've got some specific examples here we're gonna look at for filtering data with Integromat scenarios. And I've got a Google Sheet here with some, with some rows in it. Uh, we're gonna kinda use these individually, but, but they'll, they'll show you how this works. Uh, we've got letters, we've got a row with letters. So we have A, B, A, B, C, A, B, C. So we have some letters in there, some combination of letters. These are all uppercase and these are all lowercase. So we're gonna look at that. Our second column has dates in it, starting of, in August of 2020, all the way through January of 2021. So we have dates before right now and after right now. At the time of this recording, it is September 7th. So September 7th is kind of right here in between these two dates. And our third column are numbers. You, know, you notice we have uh, one decimal point. Some of these end in point zero, some end in point five. We're gonna use that in a filter as well. All right, so let's talk about filtering text. So I have a scenario here and I have three scenarios that look just like this. I'll explain this one briefly. Uh, this first step here is a Google Sheets search. For, so we're searching rows in our Google Sheet and it's gonna bring back the data right over here we have. So just simply looking for, you know, letters exist, just a simple filter to make sure we're only returning the data that has values. Then we have a router here, and then we have three filters. And so we're gonna click and look at these filters and we'll run this scenario and see what data pass through our filters. Our first filter here is looking for letter equals A. So we've mapped our letter value. So this is the letters from the first column of our sheet right here. That's the ones we're using for this example. So letters equal to A. So what this should do is only let values through that are equal to a capital A. Let's look at our next filter here. And you notice a little thing about filtering. I've got labels here. You can add these up here. This is really, really handy when you're trying to see what's going on in your scenario. So this second one, I have letters, the, uh, the letter value contains A. And contains is a text operator right here. And you'll notice there's another one where it says contains case insensitive. We're gonna look at that next, but this one is contains. So that means only data that contains a capital A will pass through this filter. And down here, this is letters that contain a capital or lowercase a. So I've mapped the letters value here. So letters contains, this says case insensitive. So this means it can be an uppercase A or a lowercase A, we don't care. Uh, if, you're, if your data has a word in there, uh, you can either put the word, let's say you're looking for you know, the value equals email, but sometimes it's uppercase and sometimes it's lower. You can just put email and say case insensitive and it doesn't matter the capitalization and it will find it. So in this case, we're looking for uh, our letters contains either a capital A or a lowercase a because it's case insensitive. 
So let's run this scenario. All right, so our scenario is run. And again, this is letter equal A. And this last step is just a text aggregator I'm dumping the results into so we can see what happens. So you can see here, there is only one value that passed our filter, which is a capital A. So if we go back over here, we see there's only one record in our Google Sheet that has that is only a capital A. So that worked perfectly. Now we're looking for the, the letters contain the letter A. So if we look at our results here, A, A, B, A, B, C, double A, A, C, A, D, you can notice each one of those contain a capital A. So that filter worked as well. If we go down here, and if you remember, this one is letters contains case insensitive A. So this should give us anything that contains an uppercase and a lowercase A. And you can see that's what we have. We have our uppercase values, and now here are our lowercase values that contain A. All right, next we're going to look at dates. And I'll just remind you here, we've got dates here that start in August of 2020 and go through January of 2021. Right now it is September 7th of 2020, so our current date is in between these two dates. So we have some dates before today and after today. So let's look at our scenario here, and uh, it's set up the same as the previous one. We're going to look at our filter. We're looking for when the date is later than now. So we're going to get all dates that are later than now. So what we've done is we've mapped the date in here. We've pulled that in. This is our date column in the Google Sheets. And it's later than now. The now can be found right up here in the date and time functions. You, you just click that. And what now means is right now, down to the millisecond, what is the current date and time uh, we want to compare and want to get any dates and times that are later than right this second. So that's what that filter is going to do. So the date during the current month, filtering with dates, I will say, can be tricky. Uh, it can make you pull your hair out. It can be really frustrating. So what I've done here is I've actually formatted this into text. And so I'm saying format the date and MMM will give me a three-digit uh value for the month. So for September, it would be SEP. For October, it would be OCT, etc. So I'm formatting the date that I have, and I'm giving a three-digit month and a four-digit year. And then I'm going to say, I want that to be equal to, and if you notice, I'm using a text matching tool, the text operator here, to match these two values. I'm not using date because I'm turning this into text. So it equal to format date now, month, year. So what this is saying is it's going to pull our dates through and it's going to convert all of them to a um, month and year. So if we go back here and look at our data, we're going to have some AUG 2020s for August, SEP 2020, OCT 2020, NOV 2020, etc. for each of these months, each of these dates. But I want to only let through the ones that are OCT 2020 because I want to take right now, Right now it's, I'm sorry, right now it's September, not October. Right now it's September and it's 2020. So we're only going to let September 2020 values through. We just want to get the values from this month. So in this, in this filter here, I have replicated that same filter. So I want only values from this month, but I have an and operator here. And so the and is going to be the date is later than or equal to now. So this is going to give me all dates this month after today or after right now. So that's going to give us a partial month, anything that's in the future. So let's run these and take a look. All right. So now we have dates later than now, and we'll look at those values. So 9, 8, 9, 15. Remember today is September 7th. So we don't have anything before September 7th. That works perfectly. Now this is the dates during the current month. And we have... 9 1 to 9 29. Again, it's September right today. So this gave us everything that was in the current month. Now, our next one is going to give us everything in the current month after today. So that should start at 9 8 and go to 9 29. It should give us four values because this September 1st value is in the past. And it does right there 9 8, 15, 22, 29. Those are all dates in the future, but only from this month. So that is a little on filtering dates. All right, back to our spreadsheet. Let's look here, and we, we have a, a numbers column, and our numbers are 2.5 up to, I think, 30, and some of them are have 0.5 at the end, 
many of them are 0, 0.0, they're whole numbers. So again, here's our scenario. We're going to look here, and in this first one, we want to get numbers that are that are 20 to 30. So 20.0 up to 30.0 is what we're looking for. So our condition is we're going to pull our number in here. So we've pulled the number in from our spreadsheet, and we're going to say it's greater than or equal to 20. The other thing we're going to do is we're going to say and is less than or equal to 30. Now it has to be and. If you do or, you'll get everything greater than 20, everything lower, lower than 30. Basically, you'll get the entire data set. So this has to be an and. The number is greater than or equal to 20 and less than or equal to 30. All right, our next one here, we're looking for numbers that end in 0.5. So we want uh, only numbers that end in 0.5, any of them that end in 0.5. And the way we're doing this is we pulled in our numbers here. And then I'm actually using a text operator, okay? And we're looking for ends with 0.5. And that's going to bring us any numbers that end within 0.5. Next, we're looking for any numbers. So let's just look at our filter here. We're looking at any numbers that are equal to 15 or equal to 25. So this should bring us back any numbers that are only 15 and only 25. So let's run this one. All right, so if we look up here, this first filter is looking for numbers that are 20 to 30. So we start at 20, 20 and a half, 25, all the way up to 30. That worked good. The next one we're looking for, again, this is our text filter. We're looking for numbers that end in 0.5, and there are all of our numbers that end in 0.5. That worked well. And on this one, we're looking for numbers that equal 15 and 25. So we have two 15s and we have four 25s. So that filter worked well as well. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions or additional comments or anything you, you have, leave those below the video. And if you need premium Integramat support, please visit weblitica.com. Thanks for watching.